Welcome back to the Wolf Den. Brand new Dial of Strike Force 7 to 1 gear ratio low profile bait casters that I just got for an absolute song, brand spanking new on eBay. They just came. And then I'm also going to tell you something that I do if you're a saltwater fisherman. Straight out of the box, first thing I do, I take all the screws out. Now, this is a graphite framed reel, I believe. So, believe it or not, graphite framed reels, yeah, they probably put up with salt water a whole lot better than the aluminum. I've got some very high dollar reels that the aluminum frames corroded because it's gotten chipped or something. So, in all reality, this little reel here um, with the Probably the graphite frame is not going to be a there's not going to be a um, corrosion issue or anything. But I've had super high dollar reels that have screwed up one way or another. Somebody screwed them up or did something, and I have to take the reel apart and fix it, which I really enjoy because it's like being a watchmaker. All those little tiny parts frustrates pe some people. I don't know. To me. Break them down, bam, put them back together, bam, right back on the rod and out fishing. I have no problem with all that. But um, first thing I do is I take all these side screws out and put a dab of grease on them. Actually, <laughs> this right here is, uh, this is Shimano drag grease. It's nice waterproof grease. So, um, that's the first thing I do. Um, and all I do is back out the screws, dip it in the grease, bam, right back into the hole. Even this one here has a nice little thumb screw to take off the side plate over here. Back that out, grease it, put it back in. In salt water and people's hands covered in sunscreen and they're wet and, and all that. First thing you want to do is just be able to make it so you can get back into that reel if you have to. Um, I've had reels that I could hardly get the screw out. And it's such a fine little Phillips head type thing that then the Phillips head wants to strip on you. You start getting into all that, you're really getting into some serious pain in the butt. Okay. Hey, this has just been another Jetty Wolf moment. Maybe it'll be a how-to. Thanks for watching.